Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video in our video lecture series of data structures algorithms. Uh, today here we are going to solve one more problem in arrays concepts or interview interview bit. So here today we have the problem as max distance, which is of medium level and was previously asked in Google, Amazon and Microsoft interviews. So let's see what we have here today. So we are given an array. We are required to find the maximum value of J minus I such that a of i is always less than or equals to a of j so say for example uh, here we are given an, an array 3542 okay if you look carefully so uh, index of 3 is 0 index of 4 is 2 so 2 minus 0 we are getting it as 2 also it is satisfying the condition that is 3 is less than or equals to 4 so this is the maximum value of j minus i which we can obtain here this is the max value of j of j minus i which we can obtain here under the condition that a j a i is less than or equal to a j okay so let us see the brute forcing technique how we are going to solve this in general if we are going to solve this we are going to consider a first for loop for subjecting uh, index so this is for subjecting uh, index or maybe targeting subjecting or targeting okay in the first for loop we are gonna target each and every element of this array okay in the second for loop we are going to compare the given condition such that we are going to assign a minimum value and let's check it as minimum of say it's the minimum index maybe minimum of the current existing index and the minimum index okay the current minimum and the existing index say this is loop of i and this is loop of j okay considering the condition this we are going to do only if ai is less than h okay we are going to do this okay else uh, directly here itself we can write the max diff equals to maximum value of the maximum difference that we have and the value of j minus i so this is the logic this is the brute forcing logic uh, which comes into our mind at the very beginning of seeing the problem so if you are going to solve in this way this is going to be in order of n square so which is not at all allowable in interviews like that of google so our task is to reduce it to maybe order of n log n which is the uh, time complexity with most of the sorting algorithms so let's see whether life becomes easy if you are trying to sort the given array so upon sorting the given array and if we are storing the respective indexes of these arrays okay something of this sort okay two comma the index of two is say here it's three similarly the index of three is one and here we have the index is index of four is two index of five is one I'm sorry for this the index of 3 is 0 okay. the index of 5 is 1 okay. we are making a pair and we are sorting it fine now after sorting it let's declare a variable as min i so this takes the minimum value of i and initially it is initialized to int max okay so upon looping through the given array we already know whenever we are subjecting 
a certain element this uh, the first element can can be accessed by using the keyword dot first and the second element which is the index which can be accessed by using the keyword dot second in a pair in a vector pair so we are going to use a vector pair as discussed okay a vector pair which stores the value of two integers the first value is the value of every element in the array and second value in the pair stores the index of the array let us say it to be indexed array okay so here we are required to declare a variable which holds the value of size of the given input array so first of all in the first for loop we are going to feed the values of the element and their index into the indexed array so i am writing for int i equals zero semicolon i less than n semicolon i plus plus we are going to feed each and every value and its respective index into the indexed array so we are going to use index array dot pushback of the pair which is um here we have a of i comma i so we can use either this way or we can also use make pair value so make pair uh, which is supported in all the compilers which are less than gcc 17 but after that uh, we can definitely use this way in order to send a pair to the crypto pair so after this we are going to sort the index array so i'm going to shortly explain you how this sort works in an indexed array okay indexed array dot end okay we are sorting from beginning to end so what this uh, this basically does is initially before sorting we'll be having a pair such that it is three comma zero okay and five comma one and four comma two and two comma zero okay so in this way we are having it but upon sorting it we can directly know that a of i is always less than or equals to a of j so all the variables all the values which are right to the top two are always greater than or equals to two so life becomes easy due to this so that is the reason we are sorting it whereas in a pair the sorting happens in this way says so that first of all the first variables are compared next if both the first variables are equal then the second variables are compared so sorting happens this way in a pair okay so we have successfully sorted it after sorting it you will be obtaining an array which is of this sort okay so let's look through this again for n i equals to zero i less than n semicolon i plus plus okay i'm sorry for this there must be curly braces okay first of all we are declaring a result as maybe say it to be max diff okay the max diff as zero initially we are assuming the maximum difference of j and i are as zero and also we are declaring an another variable which is stores the minimum value of i and we are declaring it to be the maximum value of an integer variable okay so initially we are going to, upon traversing we are going to compare whether the min i takes the minimum of the both so here we are the our motto is to find j minus i right this second thing i needs to be as minimum as possible in order to maximize the difference 
okay maximize the difference maximize the difference implies i as least as possible okay as minimum as possible that is the min i value here which we are considering here so this should be the minimum of the existing minimum value and we are also checking in the same way whether i which we are going through now is minimum or not in this way we can take hold of the minimum value of the index and we can also compare it at the same time and change it accordingly so here goes the value i sorry this is not i we are going to subject this right so that becomes indexed array of i dot i have already told you in order to access that variable we are going to use dot second operation dot second okay we did that and now the minimum value is ready whereas for updating the max difference so max difference becomes the maximum value of the existing max difference and the value of the current thing which we are doing say for example we are here in the three zero so the minimum value is zero okay up to now when command when when we are coming to four so the index of four is two but already we have we are having the min i value as zero so minimum value of zero and two is zero so the minimum of i remains as zero whereas the current index which we are having is two okay so we are going to subject that in index array of i dot second we are finding whether the difference of the current minimum and the current index is minimum is maximum than the already existing maximum difference i hope you understood the logic here and at last we are gonna return the maximum difference okay that's it guys so before that we are going to check if at all the value is given as one so if there is only one variable in the given input array we are not required to do anything of this so directly we are going to return the value zero right so that's the maximum possible value so we are removing all this code for now and we are testing so we are having max int sorry i'm sorry for this guys this must be int max int max so let's test this again yeah let's submit the code yes guys we got it as right so that's it for this video guys if you like my video please share the video if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos like this thank you